In this video, I want to show you how I mark up my Bible digitally as I'm studying. So uh, I'm doing kind of an inductive study on the book of James, and I have my Bible open here to James chapter 1. And uh, so I have these Bibles on GitHub, and I'll link them in the description where you can go and download them. I had them on OneDrive, but I think this is probably a better better place to put them that way. Get them a little bigger. Just... Uh, was weird with the whole OneDrive. It was like a really long um, URL, and it just looked a little sketchy in my eyes. So I was like, well, people probably trust GitHub a little bit more than just some... It didn't even look like OneDrive, so I changed it. So it's on OneDrive now, and uh, you can get those if you'd like. And it's got the um, Bible in King James, Web Bible. I'm working on getting them in both org mode and markdown in case somebody is using like Obsidian or Zedler to do similar things that I'm doing here. I have my command log open and that is just to show you what buttons I'm pushing and it does seem to be a little bit on the big side. So let me down a bit. So uh, let's show you what I mean by marking things up. So you got your text and you can use the mouse to do this if it's easier for you or, you know, but the part of the thing of Emacs is not using your mouse, but you highlight something and you hit capital S, which surrounds it. So whatever character you add next, it will add it to the, both the front and the back of it. So it's really great when you want to highlight stuff like that. So there's, uh, that's my bold text there. And let's say I want to do the um, italic text. So uh, capital S, surround, and uh, slash there, uh, forward slash. And that does the um, italic. And uh, there's a couple more you can do. Um, I might mess some of these up because the keyboard here is actually blank right now. Um, one of my keyboards is that because I thought it was cool, but it's not great when you're demonstrating things. But, you know, we try. So uh, let's surround that with, uh, nope, that one's not. It's the tilde. That, so let's do that with tilde. There. Um, yeah, that's, a, that's an okay highlight. So you're probably wondering how in the world are you get changing? It's not just regular bold. It's something completely different. And I'm going to um, put how to do this right in the description of this video. That way, um, you can just copy and paste this into your Emacs and, and it'll, it'll be that. But let me show you what that looks like. So we'll go to uh, config here. And this is it right here. So one of the things I would recommend you do is add this to it. I'll also copy and paste this inside the uh, description to add this. What this does is it hides your, um, it hides the um, actual asterisks and the actual uh, uh, those forward slashes around it. So if you didn't have this on, this uh, hide org hide emphasis marker T, it would actually just have those there. But if you hit T, it's gonna hide them, and that just, to me, it looks better. I know that some people like it, what you, uh, not what you, but yeah. Some people like um, the plain look and the markdown look, like in, if you're using markdown files, it, it does the same thing as far as it shows those asterisks around the thing. But I uh, like this better, because it looks cleaner. So, actually, let's go back, and let me show you what I did here. So, um, I found this somewhere, where I found all the things for Emacs, and I customize it for myself. So let me just walk through and show you what this does. So you got your asterisks, you've got bold, and you've got the foreground, and that just shows you the different colors here as far as um, what colors you want. And if you want to like look up what colors you can use, you can actually just use a hex code. So you do a, uh, you know, a pound sign or a hashtag sign, and then your six digit head code, and it will um, do it up based on that color. But in Emacs, you actually have particular colors. And I think it's this one. Yeah. So down here, you've got all these different colors and it shows you the exact colors. So you could type in light uh, salmon uh, instead of deep sky blue. And so you can just find these colors here and just choose the ones that you'd like or, you know, choose the hex code that you like. If you have a particular color scheme in mind, I may change it to a color scheme, but for now, I do like where this is at. So that to me is pretty awesome. So you, you type in like foreground or colon foreground and that changes the color. 
and that will change the actual text. But you notice here with my equal sign for the highlight mode, it's going to do a uh, snow color. So the front of it, the actual text, the background is going to be white, and the text is going to be this deep slate blue. So it'll look like a highlighted text. Um, so for some of these, though, like for instance with um, my strike through, which is the plus sign, if I were to do regular um, plus signs around any particular word or string of words, then it would have a line through it. But I don't want that because I'm mostly just using this for um, highlighting for my own personal study. So I put in a strike through nil, and so that way you can't see that. So this is a great way to create uh, text and to uh, highlight things. And let me now show you um, how this kind of works. So you can use your mouse and you can click it with it, but I really prefer using my um, using my keyboard here and I'm, I'm always learning how to use Emacs a little bit better so uh, well this is really how to use Vim a little bit better so you highlight something with you start with visual with a V but then you hit W oops did I do W no I hit quit um, no 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 I'm not doing macros here so you highlight with V and you hit W hitting Q that's the problem W and then there you go so it then it jumps to word to word. So V, it jumps to the next word. So you can go to the next word, you can backspace, and uh, let's say you wanna highlight it, so you hit Control S to surround it, and then italic one, which is, which is that. So you can have a nice little color scheme after the end of all of this and, and work through it. And to me, this is great for uh, going quick through this. Um, and you can just really just, that wrong? You can really start to, you know, work pretty fast once you get the hang of the thing. Now, I don't really need any of those because they're not really important to me. But um, that's how I highlight things as I'm studying the text. I hope this is uh, helpful for you to jump on that. I'll, I'll add that stuff in the bottom in the description. But thanks so much for watching.